in my line of work, you always got to be optimistic. Uh, the report's encouraging, there's no doubt about that. Bill Baltus, president of the Baltimore County Watermen's Association, says he and his fellow watermen have heard it all before. 2012, we probably had the highest juvenile count ever. If I'm correct, I think it was 612 million. It did not translate into a lot of crabs in 2013. According to the 2019 Blue Crab Winter Dredge Survey released by the Department of Natural Resources, compared to 2018, the entire bay crab population is up 60% with an estimated 594 million crabs. Adult females are up 29%, males up 38%, and the very important juvenile population is up almost 50%. Little crabs don't necessarily translate into making it all the way to big crabs. Balta says crabs, there are a lot of factors say, that could put a damper on things. Record rainfall from last year and more rain this year has dropped salinity levels in the bay, pushing crabs further south. Also, because of the lower salinity, there is a new dangerous invasive species known as the blue catfish that loves to feast on crabs. I guarantee you, it being a bottom feeder, if it gets a chance to eat a soft crab after crab shed or, or small hard crabs, it's going to go after them if it's hungry. <laughs> Out at Don's Crabs in Parkville, they're sharing the same hope that the report will mean a better season down the road, coupled with the recent news of an additional 30,000 visas for migrant workers will be available, which includes the crab industry. It's a long crab season, so I think by the latter part of the season we'll see good numbers, but for everybody to get all excited over that report right now, I'm not seeing it. I don't think any other watermen are either. So if there is a bumper crop later in the crab season this summer, expect crab prices to go down. If you'd like to take a closer look at that report, we've got it on our website, WBALTV.com, and on our mobile app. In Middle River, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.